Well, what is up boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I've just released my own game. Finally, a lot of you guys have been asking me to basically release my own game and I finally did. So this is Slice a Brain Raw and I'm literally going to be showing you the whole game, basically how I did it. And we're also going to go into the studio so I can show you some organization, how I actually coded all of this in under, I'd say like, maybe like it took me four days to make the whole game. So it is, it is pretty cool. And I also had my friend help me with the map. So I did everything in scripting in under like four or five days. Uh, but the map, uh, my friend helped me, which he's also one of the owners of this game. So yeah, this is the game basically. And this is how it looks like. It's called Slice of Brain Rot. And as you guys can see, you have a I have a bunch of brain rots right here that I can uh, use. And I can also place down some more. I have, I have a bunch of them with mutations and stuff which is pretty cool but yeah uh, as you can see we have the nuke i don't even know what this is bro um and then we have this um this shark one then we have this uh popular one and we just have a bunch of them right here you basically get these by going to the shop as you guys can see here and purchasing a crate which then gives you a brain rot but the main and most fun thing in this game is the slicing now if you guys remember there is a mobile game which is kind of similar to this so i'm just going to go into the slicing right now to show you how this game looks okay boom and as you can see, brain rots are literally going to be flying up and they're going to be basically uh, going up and your goal is to slice every one of them when they appear. Okay, look. Pandacini, bananini. Orangutini, ananasi. Yeah, so now we have a boss, bro. Gattatino easy. Neonino. Holy, yeah, that is easy right there. So now as you can see, we have a bunch of them coming now and there's just a bunch of levels. Each level gets harder and harder and each level has more brain rots and they get faster and faster, bro. So now I can basically slice this one. Trippi, signora. Boom, that signora. was the boss. Easy, bro. And or I... or Brain rot, god, lucky block. Ripus medusi. Pot, hot spot. Dude, there's just so many of these, bro. Like, honestly, it's so funny. And you can slice every one of them. I think I have over 100 brain rots in the game. So there's a bunch of them to collect. And as you guys... Bon, bon, bini, there's gusin. also... Okay, let me just beat the boss real quick. Bon, bon, bini, go. gusin. So as you uh, can see, we also have the auto slice. And we have the fast, fast auto slice, which is OP. Look at this, bro. Cacto hippopotamus. Boom. Boom. Mateo. Las Tralaleritas, Boom. Sigma bro, there, Boy, bro there's, so, Cavallo Virtuoso. bro, there's so many of these, they're so fast, like fast auto slices OP, and then you also have the luck, boosters like two times luck, four times luck, Ooh, this one's kind of hard, Gattatino there Gianino. we go, okay, let's just leave the slicing right there, but as you guys can see, that is literally how you slice the brain rods, and every time you slice, you get some cash, and then you can go to the shop, and you can open up a crate, let's go ahead and open up the mythic crate, and let's see what we're gonna get, bro, okay, boom, we're gonna be opening up a mythic crate right here. Let's see what we're getting. We're gonna get Sigma Boy. Bro, we got Sigma Boy Legendary. He's he makes 700 a second. That is pretty OP. But these mutated ones are actually crazy. There's also a lot of other mutations. I also have a secret one which makes like 3k. Uh, so that one is pretty pretty cool. But yeah, basically as you guys can see, there's a bunch more things in the shop. You can upgrade your cash power. You can also buy different swords. This one that I have right now boosts you for 20x. Uh, but you can also make boosts for like a lot, uh, as you can see, 10, and then you can do like 5x, 3x, and they just, all of these cost like cash, so you can buy them with your cash. And then you can also rebirth right here, as you guys can see, to basically advance to the next level. This is like the requirement. You basically lose all of your brain rots and stuff. Look at this guy, bro. What is this guy talking about? Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, we also have codes right here. I'm going to cook you guys up with some free codes. The first one is free brain rot. The second one, this also gives you a brain rod. The second one is Book Studios. And the third one is Release. Uh, uh, oh, let me just see if I can, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. Dude, look at this, bro. I have this gold one. <laughs> this is the legendary. Oh, look at this one. I have the diamond one right here. Let me see what all of these I have, bro. I have this diamond one right here. Ooh, I have the full-on rainbow one, bro. Okay, this one's rare. This one's legendary. I have this uncommon ones. Uh, okay, now he's saying no. Okay. Okay, boom boom okay oh we got a legendary oh he doesn't want it oh he wants that one okay let's see we got this legendary okay a rare one yeah he doesn't want that one oh he definitely wants the rainbow one bro we got a diamond one look at this one bro okay boom we got this one he's legendary okay yeah oh we got this one legendary diamond rotation and then we got a mythical bro okay there we go gold and then we got another mythical and then we got a common bro yeah yeah this one bro you need this one okay let's see if i can remove this one and actually give it to him oh, oh my goodness bro that hurt okay bro look at this bro i got a secret lucky block right here it, it makes three thousand secret lucky block 
there we go bro boom and now as you can see i have this one right here which is epic oh bro he just left oh did he teleport back to his own plot or something i think it's over there bro yeah he's all the way over there yeah there we go but as you guys can see we can also spin by the way let me go ahead and see if i'll get lucky spinning this bro hopefully oh my god he's gonna try and steal this bro no way there we go oh bro you're not hitting me um let <laughs> bro why did they have all of these look at this bro i have this laser bro that i can shoot literally but yeah as you guys can see you can also spin to get a bunch of uh stuff like right there there's some crazy rewards and i do have admin which i'm gonna show you guys bro basically i can go ahead and make myself giant look at this bro i can go ahead and do giant boom oh i'm literally giant oh my goodness bro why is my sword so big bro that's crazy and then i also have like a piggy bank right here which i can cash out all of my cash that i have and then basically i have all of these other ones but look at this bro i'm literally a giant bro let me go to this dude right here and troll him bro oh my god bro he's never gonna expect this one okay i'm just gonna literally gonna walk in and be like a huge brain bro bro how, how does he have that one Oh my goodness, that one is like a smaller one. Ooh, that was like a pretty, pretty small one. I have never seen that one. But look at this. Oh my goodness, bro. He's probably so confused. He's probably like, what is happening right here? Well, sorry, but I have admin commands, bro. But yeah, that's mainly the game, guys. And there's a bunch of things I really haven't shown, like all the mutations you can get, all of the like brain rots you can get, and all of the levels in the slicing. So I recommend you guys check the game out. It's going to be the first thing in the description. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead now and show you guys what this looks like in studio how i made this in four days maybe i five i can't remember but it, it was between four to five days it was like literally grinding every single day for a bunch of hours but at the end we made the game relatively quickly uh because i had this sort of idea right there well here's our base right here as you guys can see but yeah uh we're gonna hop into studio right now i'm gonna show you the organization and what i'm gonna be talking about uh and how i basically set up all the code how everything works and how you guys can do something similar also all right, basically, so we are in studio right now. I'm just gonna show you how I set up the scripts. And I think I talked about this in one of my videos, but basically this is how the game is gonna be structured and then how you guys can also utilize this framework in your own games to make coding a lot faster because without this, I literally would have coded for a lot longer. But basically, as you guys can see, uh, for all of you guys that want to learn how to script, uh, make sure you're paying close attention because I'm going to be giving out some cool sauce right here. And also, if you guys are interested in learning how to script more in depth and want to learn how to basically level up all your skills and basically become better so you can script games in literally under a week and also get commissions with that so people can pay you for uh, you to make games for them, um, then make sure to check out also the second link in the description is going to be my academy and I do teach scripting there fully in depth so if you guys are interested in learning further and want to level up your skills and want to basically become a full-on developer then make sure to check that out because i basically go from a to z in there and i teach everything i know literally in my seven years uh from when i was 12 years old and when i started uh to now i mean it, it might be even longer so uh yeah without further ado uh let's go ahead and get to show you guys the framework right here basically it's one folder called shared and i have three folders under it so i have client I have server and I have miscellaneous, right? So um, the server contains all the server scripts that you would normally put inside of a server script service. Um, it is initialized by one single script right here, which I'm going to show you called server in it. What this basically does is pretty simple, right? So we take all of the stuff uh, with this get children function, all the stuff inside of this folder, and we bas basically require them and run the init function. Every single one of these, for example, I'm going to show you the example, has an init function. And this is where your code would go. So, right, I can say um, code goes here, right? And basically, um, anytime I want to do something, I'll just write the code here and it acts like a regular server script, right? Just that it's in one folder, it's organized, and all of them are under here. Pretty, pretty simple, right? So, all of that's uh, the same thing. And then we also have another one, uh, another client script right inside of here called client in it it basically does the same it just has the repeat task wait and it does a task form function and does the init thing again same thing again just instead of this uh, this being a server uh this thing is called client and it grabs this folder right here um and it basically as you can see does the same exact thing you start typing stuff here and it acts as a client script every single one of these that you see is kind of like a client script and all of these miscellaneous ones are basically uh stuff like you know some modules you get from the site or open source modules like zone module or packets 
uh these are open source modules or something you'd find on the internet which you can use for example packets is a uh packets is a uh what's it called it's a change kind of like better uh, way of using uh, this than remote events so you would use remote events regularly but with packets you can use uh, and make the whole game without remote events because it kind of basically uh, does something uh through like a third party which then boosts and this also helps you communicate with the client and server faster so you kind of have faster communication when using the packets module uh which Again, you guys don't need to go too crazy in this. You guys can use remote events like you'd always do, like you've seen in all my tutorials, but packets is just basically a more advanced way to uh, level up and become like more efficient and when coding, because packets helps you become faster and also helps networking be faster inside of the game, kind of has less lag, uh, so it's not like a remote event, right? So that's really the whole framework and what's it gonna be. And then in the assets, you basically have all the regular stuff, animations, uh, SFX, VFX, models, and you place all the assets you need in there. Literally two folders, all you need right here. Uh, this is for the data storage. This is, I just keep three separate folders for that. And then I have just some stuff right here, like all items and etc. I don't have any other script inside of anywhere except this one and this one right here. Uh, and I also have the ragdoll, which is like the classical Roblox ragdoll script. But yeah, uh, without further ado, that is basically going to be an overview and a rundown of how the game is structured. Now, if you guys do want to learn how to structure your own game and how to basically make this and how I was able to make this in four to five days. And I hope this picks up the algorithm even more because the last game I made, I think, in under a week went semi-viral and got around three million plus visits. I made some pretty good money off it and I sold the game to someone. So that was pretty cool. So if you guys want to learn how to actually do something like that and you guys, you guys want to learn how to make your own games and make them pretty fast and be efficient in code and also be able to deliver to other clients and be able to, you know, work for other people's games so you guys can get paid, then make sure you check out the second link in the description. That's going to be my academy where I teach basically everything. And then also make sure you guys check out the first link in the description. It's going to be uh, the game so you guys can check it out, play it. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts and all of that but yeah without further ado hope you guys enjoyed this video i uh, hope you liked it make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you do not miss another video because we're going to be doing a bunch of tutorials from now on i'm going to be giving you guys a lot of sauce and i'm going to be sharing a lot of things so make sure you stay tuned so you do not miss another video and drop a comment on your favorite part of this video and what you have learned without further ado hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace